money too. Sister, sister, wait. Where are you taking the money to? Let's return the money. Return the which money? This one. That God just provides for us to use and pay school fees. I'm not returning this money. I want to use it and pay my school fees. But the money is not our own. Eh, it's who's own? It's that for the man blind own. man. Eh, thank God it's blind. We cannot return it. I'll use it and pay my school fees. Sister, you can't take the money home. I will not take it home. I'll use it and pay my school fees. You can't use it to pay your school fees. It's not your own. It's who's own? It's God that provides for us. So I'll use it and pay my school fees. We are still in junior class and I'm in a senior class. I, I don't have time again. So I will use this money. Anyways, you can return your own. But note, opportunity come but once. Sir, your money. Wait. Ah, thank you. But the money is supposed to be two bundle. How come it's one bundle? The return one. Sir, can you see? Yes, my child, I can see. Sir, please forgive my sister. She's not like that. Our family are not thieves. Please, forgive my sister. It's just because of the situation we are. Please. Okay, um, can you stand up? I understand. Stand up. You see, let me tell you something. I was not blind. I did that on purpose because I wanted to know it's just a test of faith. You know, I have um, I have so much money. I'm looking for who I can genuinely sponsor, you know, give scholarship through school and through your university level. And I just want to help people, but I want to help genuine people. And that's why I did what I did. Just I wanted to test the both of you. This is the first, you people are the first person I'm testing. And here you are, you just passed my test. What's your name? Peace. Peace. No problem. I saw what your sister did. I saw everything. Okay? She can, um, I will see for a fact that you are a very good girl. And a very nice girl. Thank you, sir. And I will sponsor you, Peace, throughout your education. I will give you scholarship. Really? Yes, I will sponsor your secondary school. What class are you? Just one. I will sponsor your secondary school. Try your secondary school and any university of your choice, or anywhere in the world that you want to go. All right? Thank you. No problem. You're welcome. Um, so, uh, where, where do you stay? Okay, yes. can you come inside the car? Let me, let me take you to your house. So I can meet your parents and um, I would like to discuss with them and tell them what I want to do for you. Um, with immediate effect. No, no, I cannot come inside your car. Why? Because I don't know you. You are a stranger. Oh, yeah, I understand because of the um, the way the country is. Oh, but you know what? I, you just assisted me and I just gave you scholarship. So there's no way I'm going to do anything to you. I'm not a ritualist. I'm not a bad person. Don't worry. Just calm down. I'm not going to do anything. I'm not going to hurt you, okay? Just yes, come sir. inside the car. Let me take it to you. Let's go to your parents. Come inside. Don't worry. Feel free. Okay? Okay. Smart one. Just relax, okay? Okay. How are you? I'm fine, thank you, sir. 
So are you not blind? <laughs> Obviously, I'm not blind. I'm so, so sorry, sir. Please forgive me. It was not my intention. I thought the money was from God. Please St forgive me. Stand up. What's your name? Victoria. Victoria? Yes. What class are you? SS1. Where is the money? Inside my bag. Bring it. Victoria, I want to ask you one question. What if you had um, picked this morning and you turned to a goat or an animal for sacrifice? Would you have to still pay your school fees? No. Good. Now, what will it profit you when you gain all these things and you lose what is so precious to you? You lose your soul. What? You gain nothing. You stand to gain a nothing. In fact, you will even lose everything. Your school, you won't go. What I did, I just tried to put you guys on a test. I'm wealthy. I have money. I was just looking for someone I can help throughout the person's education. Secondary school to the university level to high institution, any university of the person's choice. That was what I did. And this is actually my first test with you guys. And you failed it. You didn't only fail it, you were so greedy. You let your greed took over you. I was watching everything. I mean, your sister literally was begging you to return the money. And you refused. You refused. God, God will never send money down on earth. He will send someone to come and help you. And I was sent to help you. And you missed your only chance. Now, I wanted to sponsor someone to school. And your sister, Peace, has been given a scholarship through her secondary school and her university level, any university of her choice, which you were supposed to be part of. And now you've lost it. And still your school fees, you lost it. And now, at the end of everything, do you know what happens to people that are greedy? They regret, which you are regretting right now. It should be a lesson to you in the future. Because from now on, this girl is gonna be under my care and when she's finished secondary school and taking her abroad so it's going to be a lesson to you in the future and to your unborn kids never i mean never to take whatever that doesn't belong to you i would have literally given you this money but i won't give it to you you let your greed to go by you same way you let your greed to go by you let your regret fall on you so that you will feel the pain. You feel the pain. You feel the regret. You feel the sorrow. You feel the tears. You feel everything that greed brings. Okay? Right? You're still a young girl. You have a long way to go. If you don't have it, you ask. You don't take what doesn't belong to you. You ask. And it will be given to you. That's what the Bible says. It says, ask and it shall be given to you. Knock and the door shall be opened unto you. And seek and ye shall found. If you don't have it, you ask. You don't take. Enter the car. Let's go. Like I said, I'm going to sponsor you, okay? Let me meet your parents. I'll talk to them. And don't worry. Whatever you need throughout your school whatever if it's money anything I'll give it to you if i'm starting from now i'm going to give your parents one million naira. i'm going to sign the agreement i have i've called my lawyer already so they are bringing the scholarship forms and everything so your mom your parents are going to sign everything you will be taken care of okay thank you sir you're welcome enter the car let me take you to your house